just I just finished some training and it's one of those moments again where because I've uh, pushed myself and when you push yourself and you really try to give it your all you usually have to face certain resistance from yourself certain weakness you can say and or to overcome to overcome that what is required is your mental strength certain mental fortitude certain what we in Finland we call sisu which is basically uh, is, is a certain grit, a certain toughness, mental toughness, you can say, to push through, to, to push past. And I've noticed, you know, in my life, of course, I've noticed many times that mental strength is something that's crucial. And it's vital if you want to get anything really done. Anything done in uh, something that you're really passionate about, or you're really going, trying to go to the, out of your comfort zone, you need to have some mental stuff, toughness. You need to be able to face adversity, some struggle, some pain, some inside voices in your head that raise doubt and fear in you. And in my life, of course, you know, you can say that the first thing that just, uh, you know, if I talk about like three main things that are basically nowadays train or develop mental strength, it's just one is the my lifestyle simply. And it comes from the business, from the from lifestyle, from having your own company, from traveling over the world, from trying to live up to your utmost potential and trying to take responsibility also over other people's development as well. Responsible for their training, for their health to some extent and trying to improve on a daily basis and to stay disciplined on your on your work and of course what has helped over the years has been the passion but it doesn't matter how much you have passion for something there's going to be hard times there's going to be those moments where it doesn't go smoothly and you don't wake up in the morning like yay i'm gonna go after this it's gonna be this has been many mornings also that i i'm retired maybe i don't want to get out of bed maybe i don't want to do this or that work that I have really so much, these moments may come despite the passion. So living up to certain standards and staying productive. So what also helped me, uh, this was many years ago, like about 10 years ago actually, which started this whole understanding the, the value of discipline and resilience was actually the, the military, the Finnish military. I was in the army and that's basically, I had to face I've never, before that in my life, I've never encountered such stressful conditions as it was in the military. You can think about all the possible annoying and <laughs> discomfortable and just uh, terrible conditions that you can imagine surrounding you, like starting just from the weather, the, the, your completely clothes are wet, it's freezing outside, it's cold, um, you're hungry, you're tired, you're sleep deprived, you have to be able to do some physically hard tasks, maybe marching or something where you need to use your brain under these kind of stressful situations. And just experiencing this, or this was the first time ever in my life that I really had to go through this kind of conditioning, but it also, after that, nothing really felt as difficult. Like nothing was, as, nothing has really ever been in a way that uncomfortable. Well, you can say equally stressful in some ways, you know, there, there's a lot in, uh, in stake, you've had to go through a lot, but, but, but those kind of physical conditions, nothing has really probably challenged me as much, much as it was there. And that also gave a perspective to further life and to ever since that point on, uh, just applying that sort of discipline and, and just grit also to to my eating, to my diet, and to my training regime. And after that, into uh, founding Wow Fitness and staying active there. So that's basically, that has been what has, how my life in general, a lifestyle has contributed to just staying or developing the strength. And it was like really I had to develop over the way. I had to face, if I wanted to move forward in my life, I had to face those things and you will also have to you cannot run away anymore you go out of from the comfort zone to the growth zone you're gonna have to develop some sort of toughness on the way and be able to face that and the, one of the great things in about army was that it gave no choice 
okay, yeah, maybe you could go to the doctor and get like a like a sick leave or something. But other other than that, there was no choice to to, to skip. There was no choice to you couldn't slack off. There was the orders. You followed the orders. You had no chance but to go through and withstand with everyone else. That was also a great thing about it. You could see others with you suffering as well, going through those same things. And that's the, also the power of the example, power of leadership as well. But the other things where I had to develop mental strength basically was through actually the training in itself. I used training, physical training and exercise. I started to use it for do developing mental strength very consciously. Because before I started to do it very consciously, of course, training required a certain amount of mental uh, strength and uh, withstanding discomfort. But it was still like, it was always a pleasure for me. Even if I experienced some discomfort in my training and strength training and mobility training, it was really a pleasure and I wanted to, I, I enjoyed I enjoyed it really. But something that changed over the years was when I started to really go into MMA. And through MMA, I had to withstand, again, it was like a wake-up call. I realized that I'm not, I figured, I thought when I went to the MMA, I had an idea. I'm pretty strong, you know, I'm in a pretty good shape. I know that I'm not, of course, I'm not skillful in MMA. I can't, do, you know, do all the punches and stuff like that properly. But I figured that I'm pretty in a good shape. I will go to MMA and I'm completely destroyed, out of breath, sore everywhere couldn't not keep up my performance during those classes at all, especially during the wrestling. And it was really a wake-up call understanding that something was lacking. Okay, if I'm in shape, why am I so destroyed from this tra training? And I was lacking endurance. I was lacking, of course, just the toughness that comes with the sport itself. You know, that's just really normal. You start anything new, of course, you're not good at it. But, but there was also something that I was able to... I, I had not faced in my own personal training at all. And so from that point on, and even before that actually, I had already kind of started to focus more on strength endurance. But it was like the last push to really go for it. And as a result, developing the Warrior 20XX workouts, which I actually just did before this, before I started to speak here, I did the Warrior 20XX. And that's a way that actually some MMA champions even use or have used in as a workout format and the way in your own training to push yourself to push yourself to, the, to pass the point where you kind of feel all right to you want to kind of stop you feel extremely uncomfortable and MMA is a great way for this it will really increase the mental strength because you have to be able to face for example defeat you have to be able to face that and come back uh, you know Gonna, you fall down, but you need to come up. You need to keep coming up, showing up to the situation, and constantly, time at a time, to go under pressure, under stress. And it's an amazing way to train mental strength because mental strength gets trained like anything else. You do it, you give it repetition. You go for it, go for it, go for it, over and over and over again until it doesn't feel anymore so bad, right? But if you don't, you know, you know not necessarily everyone even wants to do martial arts or MMA or something. Developing this mental strength is also possible through other means and by just doing it consciously in your training, but requires high intensity. It requires extremely high intensity that most people are not willing to go. Most people are not willing to use high intensity because it's really uncomfortable. People avoid the high intensity, avoid the sort of conditioning because it's gonna, it's gonna make you feel really, really tired and fatigued completely and overly and totally in your body. It's gonna make you want to gasp for air sometimes. But you can approach this also in a quite sensible manner, like we do in the Warrior Twin XX with these workouts, where actually I'm personally leading the pace there. And when I went to this, to this my own workout, this was the same kind of process. I did it over time, I stayed disciplined in it. And every time I went to that workout, I was pushing harder. If you don't go to the growth zone in your workouts, you're not gonna build it up. Whatever you want to develop, this sort of mental strength, you need to, there needs to be a requirement for mental strength in the workout. If your workout doesn't re, not, does not require you to push, then you're not going to be, get better at pushing yourself. So that's the secret. Well, it's in MMA, it's the secret is the pace of the practice. You're not deciding the pace. 
you just have to go as the coach says, you know, this and this amount of rounds you have and this and this minutes you're going to do be, to be going there and you have your opponent who's pushing you. But in Warrior 20 xx it's basically the workout is set. I'm there pushing the pace, leading it, and you, get, you can follow that. And every time I'm going to make you push past that, that sort of line where, where you pass, you surpass beyond the line where you start to grow, actually. And that's the only way to start really developing that mental strength. You need to learn it. You need to learn it and take it as, a, as a, almost like a habit in your training to go for it. For me, it's almost instinctive. If I call the train and do the warrior stuff, I want to go to that period because I know that otherwise I'm suffering here for, or just doing this workout for nothing. It's useless if I don't push myself. So I want to make it also instinctive for you as well. And that's basically how you can develop the strength. So it's, or in my life, it has been just a simply the lifestyle that I live, where I'm trying to improve, trying to go forward, constantly uh, sort of evolve, develop myself within Valve Fitness, making better content, training better, trying to find better ways to train, just constantly, constantly like uh, pushing myself in my life. And then on the side of that, there has been the MMA practice, enormous mental strength, physical strength improvements, and then my own conditioning training, the Warrior Training Access, which I use time and time again to go under that pressure, to push myself. And one thing that is good to remember out of all this is that the mental strength is something that it, it transfers. You gain mental strength in one area usually, you're able to usually push more in other areas as well. You develop the strength in athlete to next training, I don't know, I mean in warrior to next training, you're able to push harder in all of your, all of your other workouts, all of your other training, it doesn't matter, you're able to push harder. You may be even able to face more pain, more discomfort moment in whatever endeavor you have in your life. There's something I love about mental strength that it really allows, it's a key to success in so many areas in your life without having even the slightest strength to go after, go past your, disc, your, your comfort zone, you won't get much done in your life. Any, any big change, any big transformation, besides passion, it requires mental strength as well. So based on all of my experiences, all of this that I've gone, gone through and the things that I have to kind of develop certain methods on how to even build up strength and how to, how to conceptualize, how to go through it in my head, you know, these have, we basically made a completely new course, a course on mental strength, how to develop mental strength, how to develop resilience and discipline. So multiple lectures only on the subject of mental strength and also on the subject of endurance training. And this you can find from the Warrior 20XX. So this has been added to Warrior 20XX, a complete whole, it's separate course just on mental strength. And that is something I really recommend to take from my experience, you know, it's a, something that it's really gonna, you're gonna know this yourself. You probably already know there's so many things in your life where you just, you knew what you had to do. You wanted to go to do something new. You wanted to improve your life, but you never took the action. And that's simply, that's insecurities, that's fear. That's the lack of the mental strength. So it's about getting really crafts over your life and getting power, more power over your life to take charge of your also mental strength. So this is something I can recommend that you can find it from the Warrior 20XX. Other than that, you can go check that out and I hope you all take care and you stay strong.